Hello there and welcome back to our HTML video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about HTML forms. If you're really interested and ready to learn about HTML forms with me, then let's get started. Audio jungle. Yeah. To understand HTML forms, we must first understand uh, forms, how you implement them in real life. For example, in real life, when you're applying, I mean, when you're applying for something, we normally fill a form. For example, you're applying for a job, we fill forms. And those forms are characterized of two things. One, a form always have a field, and in those fields, it's where we fill values. So a form must have a field and a value. For example, we, we in forms normally have a field of a name. Then, then in the field of a name, you put your name. Uh, we have a field of age. Then in the field of age, you put your age. You have a field of your country. Then in the field of your country, you put <coughs> the name of your country. So those are the forms. In other words, something that takes our information, something that we fill in information, is what we call a form. And uh, I hope you've understood a form. Many times we fill these forms when applying for jobs, when applying for vacancies, we fill these forms. Now, when it comes to websites, sometimes we need to collect information from users. For example, you need to collect information from users like um, name. You want to collect their name. You want to collect their, uh, their, their, their countries. You want to collect their different information, their age, their passwords, their usernames. So, what do we do? Of course, we make for them a form. So, HTML calls that process of collecting information from the user. It puts them in a form. Also, HTML looks at those information that we got from the user as a form. So, I would like you to realize one thing that is going to amaze you. Did you know that every time you write a message on Facebook, did you know that you're filling a form? It's so interesting. Actually, we normally fill a form every time we write a message on Facebook or you write a comment on a certain post that is a form and you're filling a form of one field. That form is a form of one field where you just put your message and just click on send. So it is a form of only one field which is having the message body. So HTML looks at everything that we take from info from the user as form uh, in form of a form. Now, today we are going to get introduced to these forms of HTML. I know we have I've talked much and I hope that it has helped you to understand what is really meant by forms. Now, let us go to coding and see how we implement these HTML forms. Now, for example, today we are going to see how we can collect the username, the name and the password of the user from, from, from what they will input to us. So first of all, we write the form structure. Okay, let us first write the HTML structure. I'll try to zoom today because uh, you guys are complaining that uh, you cannot see properly on the mobile. So I'll try to zoom. So I'll say maybe form.html. .html. I'll begin by saving. Sorry, I not saved. So form.html. Then I'll write our HTML structure. Then I'll just write HTML and then press the tab key. Then the whole structure of HTML will come. Okay. So we are all set, I think. Now we can begin coding. So right here, the title is HTML form. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit faster because I've, to I've spoken much. Uh, so I'll begin. First of all, we say that HTML looks at the information and it takes from the user every information as a form. So it needs a form block or a form tag. So we enclose a form in a form tag. So I write a form like this, okay? Then I'll open this tag and close it on this side, okay? Then I'll close the whole tag like this. Then I come here between and I press enter. So all the information that I'll put here is what we shall call a what? Information in one form. So you can have many forms on a page. That's why we need to close a form by form. If you're having another form, then you have to put it outside this form. So now let us collect uh, the name username and password from the user first of all we said that shall collect a name so shall display this word name on the screen let us put some new line 
by putting br you know br is a break break tag okay so we shall collect a name to collect a value from a browser or from the user we use the va uh, to collect a, a text from the user we use the html tag called input in put it is a self closing tag you don't need to open it and close it but this input has attributes remember when you're collecting information from the user we have to first tell him what is in what you're collecting from them so the attribute that is necessary here is what we call a name attribute you just press write the word between this tag you just write the word name and put that attribute so in between this attribute you put the name of this field for example i've said it is first name and it should not have space you should see how you cover up this space either by underscore or by a hyphen or any other means or attach them so i'll just put first then underscore name okay so that will be our field for name we say that we shall also click, uh, collect the username so i'll put here the br tag to separate these two lines and then let's collect the username so I'll just say user name yes then uh, i'll put the input input again input because it is also another type of input okay so the, also, the necessary part of this is also a name of this input what is the name of this input it is user name okay so i'll put here username and then lastly i have to put here br to break these lines okay PR tag okay then lastly we shall collect the what the password yeah see I'm being a little bit slower so input <coughs> input then how to first tell him here to how we're going to enter his password his password then shall put also BR tag here to break the line okay then we shall put here BR again to break the line and shall not forget the name here as the password pass word then the most important part here remember password is always hidden so it is not of a type of um, this 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 text so this password is a different type and this text are different type so to hide the password you put here type as password if you to if you put the the type of this password as password it will be hidden you will see what we mean so I have also to put here type and the type of this one are text and here you put the in the attribute of type and you make it as text text okay so the most necessary parts of a form or of a form element is the type and the name of that of that element then lastly we shall put the submit button to put the submit button we just put uh, input and the type of this is called submit okay this will be submit then you give it a value a value is what will appear on the screen so this one shall be maybe mm, should you call it registration form yeah let's call it registration form so just say register okay maybe registering for something mm, the name is not necessary here because they're not so much interested in this but you can put just to be on safe side so we are ready to go now with our HTML form uh, let me explain it for the last time mm -hmm. yes so here it's a form it is enclosed between these tag form then here we're having a name and it's being broken and here we're having the input type and it is self closing type you don't need to close it because it does not have elements between it that it surrounds and it is we put here its type and the name and the name must not always have what must always have must not always have space now let us run this uh, let us go in the browser and see how it works so right click and say open in browser it will process and bring me the output in the browser yeah that's the browser it's coming a bit slower there are many things running in background yeah so that there we are i'll not restore it now okay so you can see that's amazing we have now a form a name and a form what makes this one to be possible to have this box is this attribute called input okay so that's our form we are able to collect 
the name and uh, username and password from the user now let us put these values okay my first name i'll put maybe muhidin we did <laughs> muhidin okay then uh, my username i can put um muhindo muhindo and password now look at password let me try to zoom so that you can look properly there yeah, i think you can look properly okay this is the, 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 the field name and this is the value this is the field name and this is the value so i'll put my password as my secret can you see my secret it is really you cannot see it why because it will be changed in dot what makes it to change in dots is the type because this type is password then it will be hidden because this type is text then everyone can see so if i put my password is my secret my secret yes yeah that's my password okay let me write it my secret yeah so now we are ready to submit this form after filling the form of course you submit it to the one who asked you to submit the form yeah so let us submit we shall submit by clicking on register which is the this tag input type submit and the value is what is appearing on the screen oh the register yeah like that then you click register now i would like you to realize one thing this form has been emptied but our url has changed they have attached question mark name is equal to my name and they put the word the the the, the and then the username is equal to my username and the password is equal to the password that i entered which is my secret which you're not not able to see here so that's how forms works they'll attach this information to the url and uh, on the server side when you shall continue you shall see now how to collect this information from the url yeah that's the basic information that you all you need about uh, that you need to know about forms in other words there's no forms are not that much just know that anytime that you want to collect information from the user you want to collect maybe a message from the user we use forms in html not any other way so html looks at everything in form of a form even that message that you're typing even the comment that you're going to put on this video you'll put it in a form yeah so you should always know that yeah so we shall stop from there and let us meet in the next video tutorial we are going to go and learn more about html form attributes so we're going to look at different types of elements that we have for html homes and i hope you'll not miss because uh it's going to be interesting and please don't forget subscribe to our youtube channel when you subscribe to my youtube channel i get more energy to make more videos of this kind and thank you for watching up to here see you in the next video tutorial